What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to a Man Cave Minute podcast. I'm your host, Steve V. Very happy to have you guys here today. This is episode six. Uh, very exciting. Uh, something that I've really enjoyed doing on this channel are these podcasts. I don't do them a lot, but uh, when I do, you know, come down to the Man Cave Arcade and, and kind of just sit here in front of the camera and kind of talk to you guys, it's fun for me because I get to talk about multiple different subjects. Uh, though I do tend to talk a little bit about the home arcade situation as well. And we're going to do that today because uh, I got something that's going on here in the Man Cave Arcade, home arcade related. So we'll definitely touch on that. And then we'll kind of see where uh, this podcast goes from there. So I'm actually going to start with this home arcade situation. Now, if you guys follow my channel, you guys know that I want the Arcade 1UP Golden T 3D Deluxe Cabinet. This is a cabinet that I've wanted for quite a while. Uh, but here in Canada, we had a little bit of a roadblock. Uh, since the beginning of the year, we've had this situation where these retailers have been um, kind of trying to find a new distributor to distribute these products to Canada. And though I think they're pretty close to finalizing things, um, I personally, I have somebody that works for the brick that was kind of giving me an in and kind of letting me know what was going on. Uh, it seemed like this was actually going to be finalized sometime by the end of the summer. And that just is not the case. Unfortunately, it just didn't happen that way. Of course, you know, when you get contracts involved and obviously you're bringing product in, uh, you need, you know, room and, and warehouses and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of complication involved in this and it just didn't get done. It didn't get done this year, unfortunately. So, um, this golden tea 3d deluxe that I really wanted, um, though, you know, originally I had hope that it was coming. Um, when I finally kind of did my last final check with, with this person, um, she told me, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case anymore. Uh, we're not getting any new Arcade 1UP products here in Canada anytime soon. And I also got that news from Michael B. the Game Genie. Uh, actually, I think he told me first. Uh, he had messaged me in this little group chat that we have. And he informed me that we weren't getting anything here in Canada. Uh, which obviously included that golden tea. And then I think I reached out to her. And then I think that same night, or maybe it was the night before, he had also mentioned that in his chillin' chat. So... Now it's kind of this thing where, you know, us Canadians, we kind of know what's going on here. And that is a whole lot of nothing. We're not getting anything. So uh, with that being the case, um, this, this plan to get this golden tea came to a screeching halt. Uh, because there was really only one way I could get it. And that was through Wayfair Canada. Now, any Canadians that have dealt with Wayfair Canada you know how much of pretty much a scam uh, this, this, this company and website could be. Uh, they're charging sometimes thousands of dollars for these Arcade 1UP products. I don't know where they come up with these prices. I don't know how they justify it. I don't know if they're even selling any product. But um, you can literally go to Wayfair Canada right now, type in Arcade 1UP, and, and you're going to see these kind of prices. Uh, I've seen you know some of the new products come in and just... <laughs> just the prices are ridiculous. That's what it comes down to. But with the Golden T 3D Deluxe, when it originally showed up on their website, it was being sold for eight twelve, I believe. Now that does seem like a lot, and it is. There's no denying that. But supposedly the rumor was when Golden T would show up here in Canada, it was going to be uh, seven sixty which is a lot more expensive than your normal deluxe cabinets. I don't know why that is. I don't know if this was just some news that I heard wrong. But um, when when I did hear this news, whether it was wrong or right, uh, when I started looking at the Wayfair one, I'm like, okay, that price isn't that far from there. Should I just get it from Wayfair? Well, I kind of talked myself out of it because at that time I still thought that we were going to get these cabinets here in Canada through retailers because um, there was a chance that things could have been finalized with the distribution company by the end of the fall. 
And that was kind of my hope. So I held off. Well, then, you know, a month, month and a half went by. And that's when I finally got the news that they weren't coming here to Canada. So I went back, looked at the Wayfair website, and of course it went up in price. It was being sold for eight, eight seventy nine, I believe. So I had a decision to make, and that was: Do I want this cab enough that I'm willing to spend this kind of money and put my old Golden Tee up for sale? The answer was yes. So I ended up putting my original Golden Tee up for sale. It sold in four days, and it actually sold for pretty much what I bought it for. So um, very happy with that outcome, and um, that gave me you know a good base to put towards this new golden tea. So I, I talked to my wife, she kind of gave me the okay after kind of talking to her a few times and I sent her kind of a funny message where uh, it was my head on Tiger Woods body, uh, you know, swinging a club and I had the golden tea cabinet on the side and was like, hope you're having a good day. She got a chuckle out of that. I think that kind of gave me some bonus points. And then, um, yeah, the next day she, she finally gave me the okay uh, because we are expecting another child and uh, this child will be coming early next year. So when it comes to buying stuff like this, we kind of have to communicate with each other and, and really see if this is something that is feasible and, and, and worth doing. And in this situation, um, it was because, again, I had a good base to put towards this cabinet. And also, it is going to be my last arcade one up. And the reason I'm pretty positive on that is because when my second child comes, I'm not going to have any disposable money for stuff like this. And as you guys know, I sold the majority of my arcade one up cabinets because I just wanted what I actually played. Uh, the collection phase was kind of done for me. So, um, yeah, I got the Golden Tee 3D Deluxe Cabinet uh, finally coming to the Man Cave Arcade. It should be here November 8th. Uh, when I build that, I'm going to do a little review on it, though I know there's a lot of reviews out there, but um, I just want to kind of, you know, do a review with, with my own opinions and, and kind of let you guys know what I think of this cabinet since I have been waiting for it so long. I mean, I wanted a deluxe version of this cabinet when they had the Excel out uh, because the Excel was just a little too big for my space. So I always said if they made a deluxe, I would pick that cabinet up in a heartbeat. And though, again, I had to, you know, go through some hurdles and there was a couple of roadblocks. Uh, when you want something enough, if you kind of plan accordingly, things can work out. And in this situation, it did. So November 8th, get the cabinet. I'll build it, do a little review. And then from there, I'm going to do my Man Cave Arcade Tour. Uh, and that's probably going to be my final tour for a while. Because I don't see how things are really going to change too much down here going forward. Especially with, you know... A baby on the way uh, I just can't see myself uh, really coming down here a lot you know adding stuff and and kind of changing things up to to make things fresh and new I'm gonna have my hands full so this game room tour or man cave arcade tour or whatever you want to call it uh, it will probably be my last one for a while so you guys will kind of see the finished product of what this this basement's gonna look like in at least the next few years so that's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of my, my big news when it comes to the home arcade situation regarding me and kind of what I'm doing. Um, I have still been kind of following what's going on in the community, obviously. I know Arcade One Up just came out with that claw machine and, um, you know, that's pretty exciting. I know it's very niche and very, uh, very much um, kind of a novelty item. Uh, it is cool, and it's something that I've heard a lot of people ask for. I mean, I've been in this community since 2019. That's when I bought my first arcade one up, and I heard people talking about wanting a claw machine then. So um, the fact that arcade one up listened and finally made one, um, it's amazing. I, I commend them on that. Uh, it's something new, something fresh, and... Uh, you know, originally I did hear some some things about maybe the claw not being strong enough to pick up some heavier items and people saying that looked very generic and didn't like the music. And, you know, there's always going to be some people that are going to find some flaws. But when you really think of the big picture, 
if you buy a claw machine, um, you know, off some other site, a lot of the times, yeah, maybe the claw's stronger, you know, it's a better motor, uh, but they're smaller, you know what I mean? And this is something that's like a pretty good size. I mean, I think it's like five feet. Uh, it's, you know, fairly wide. Um, I think for, for what it is, I, I feel like Arcade 1-Up did a pretty good job. And it does look like the claw does pick up some heavier items than initially thought, you know? You're probably not going to put like something extremely heavy, but maybe like some plush, you know, toys or something like that. It can do that. Obviously, it comes with the balls, you know, you could probably put some candy in there. Um, you got some options. And I think this is a cool product. Um, if you just want that, that cool thing that when people see it, when they come down to your space or up to your space, wherever it is, people are going to go to that and they're going to want to try it. Uh, is it going to be something that's going to get played every day? No. But when you have guests or kids over, that is going to be something that's going to attract them. And, uh, I, I think it's cool for that, you know, uh, again, that, that novelty kind of niche item that will be something that people will, you know, kind of run to and and they'll be like oh i can't believe you have a claw machine that's what that is so i commend arcade one up on doing the product and i think they did a pretty good job for the most part i did that video a little while ago on my uh mcfarland live action batman set hopefully you guys checked it out uh i was really proud of that video uh because this is a collection that i've been collecting for a while and i didn't really have it displayed properly and to finally have it displayed the way I want and to kind of talk to you guys about these figures that I picked up and uh, kind of showing my inbox collection, showing, you know, my Jada Batmobile collection as well. Um, it, it was just, it was just fun. It was a fun video for me to make. I made it because it's, it's something that um, I really wanted to share with you guys and, and something that I've truly kind of um, become passionate about collecting is these McFarlane live action Batman figures because Batman's my favorite superhero. He's been my favorite superhero ever since I was a kid. I grew up watching these movies and really enjoying them. Uh, I have so many fond memories of like, you know, the promotional pieces for these movies, you know, the McDonald's toys and, you know, the cereals or, you know, they would put the promotional images, um, you know, buying the toys I remember me and a couple of my buddies, you know, having the um, Batman Forever toys and we made like this cool little thing where, you know, we we made um, kind of like a, I guess like a house that we connected to the wall and then we did like a string that went down and, and then uh, connected it to like almost like a bat cave thing and then we would have like the characters kind of swing down as, you know, they were like fighting, we were pretending that they were fighting and kind of reenacting things from the movie even though that particular scene never happened but you know batman had the grappling hook so that's what we were trying to kind of uh, recreate uh just so many fond memories of batman and those batman movies and collecting these figures really brings me back to that time and uh, it's something that uh, when i come down to my man cave arcade and you know i see my son looking at it i can kind of tell him like he's still very young but as he gets older, he'll kind of know and I'll get to share those movies with him. Because right now, the only thing I've kind of shown him is um, the Batman 66 show. Because it's it's child friendly, right? It's, it's a family entertainment show that was kind of meant to be campy and kind of comical. So he's seen that. He enjoys that. Loves that show. He's asked to watch it many times. And I've shown him Batman the Animated Series. The 1992 uh, show. But that's a little too dark for him so he hasn't really took to that but i'm sure he will in time and and then you know the movies will be next on the docket uh when he's a little bit older so um yeah it's just cool uh collecting these figures and i'm really happy that mcfarlane is uh is doing them and doing them very well for a price that is very very friendly uh specifically to someone like me that that has a growing family and really trying to watch you know my budget so, uh, hopefully again, you guys checked out that video. If not, I'll put the link in the description and, uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, something that they just came out with, um, McFarland, they came out with the Batman and Robin Batmobile. Uh, I mentioned in that video that, um, I only have the, uh, 1989 Batmobile and that's because it's my favorite. 
uh, from uh, from McFarlane there. Uh, like it's my favorite Batmobile, but uh, it's from the company McFarlane. Uh, they made a Batman Forever one uh, a couple of months ago, and it was very tempting, but I kind of held off because it's just they're they're very long. I think they're like you know anywhere from like 22 to 25 inches long, and then obviously they have like the um, the uh, the bat you know spoiler or bat wing or fin whatever you want to call it so that kind of takes up some room so i didn't i didn't cave and buy that one uh but i've been kind of staring at it on amazon i know they made the tumbler already from the dark knight uh, trilogy and now they made this batman and robin one so i'm starting to get a little kind of tempted to maybe purchase these batmobiles but they are a little more expensive and again they take up quite a bit of room so this is something i'm really gonna have to think about if i want to pursue uh, but if not, I mean, I got my Jada diecast ones that are smaller versions. Uh, but if I do end up pursuing the McFarlane ones, uh, obviously I'll have to get another shelving unit and then, um, you know, I'll have those displayed and that will be something I'll be taking out of box because I'm an inbox collector with everything else. But when it comes to the Batmobiles, I would display them out of box. So we'll see, uh, time will tell where things kind of go with that. Uh, again, you know having to buy another shelf and, and it being a little bit more of an expensive product, it's something that I'll have to just kind of think about. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Other than that, um, just been kind of enjoying life and obviously prepping up for this next child. Cause like I said, uh, I'm going to be a father of two, uh, starting at the beginning of next year. Uh, so this is very exciting. It's going to be another boy. And, uh, I, I just, I, I can't say enough good things about how I, I feel about, you know, having, you know, a growing family and just, uh, you know, my son finally having a brother to play with. Uh, it's just very exciting times in the Stevie household. Uh, my wife's doing great and it's just, just a lot of, a lot of happiness and joy right now in, in this household. So um, but yeah, other than that, just been kind of chilling. I, uh, was, uh, watching, um, WWE Crown Jewel yesterday, uh, here in the Man Cave Arcade. Uh, great show. Uh, Cody Rhodes won this big ass belt that, uh, the Saudis made and, uh, Liv Morgan won the, the woman's one. Um, it, it was, it was a really good show. I enjoyed it. Um, you know, when it comes to the, the Crown Jewel events, they they do seem big, but because they are, you know, done afar, sometimes they're, they're kind of shows where you're like, ah, I don't know, like how I'm going to feel about it. But lately, the, the last few I have been kind of getting into, and uh, it was something that I was pretty excited to watch yesterday, and it lived up to the hype, in my opinion, specifically that main event with Cody and, and Gunther. I thought maybe it might end in kind of a controversial way, so that way, you know, with them being... Uh, two, you know, really popular champions that you don't really want to see lose. I thought something would have to happen in order for one of them to take the pinfall, but it was actually a clean finish and it was done very, very smart. You know, uh, Gunther had the rear naked choke. Cody kind of went over, had the shoulders down of Gunther, one, two, three, and, and that's it. And then Gunther kind of shook his hand and it was kind of a cool way to end the show. So I really enjoyed that. Um, there was also a UFC event. Uh, that happened in uh, Vancouver yesterday. So really enjoyed watching that as well. So that's kind of what has been going on here in the Man Cave Arcade. Just me kind of chilling, watching some sports. Also cheering on the Toronto Maple Leafs. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But other than that, uh, again, getting prepared for, for next year. And, uh, you know, the changes that will be happening. And uh, really looking forward to getting this Golden Tee Deluxe. Uh, built so I can uh, have it here in the man cave arcade and uh, you know review it do the game room tour because 2024 is coming to an end and I usually like to do some type of tour every year and I haven't done one yet this year and I have changed some things down here so um, yeah once that golden tea comes uh, I will definitely do that game room tour and I got another video that I'm also planning uh, it's pretty much all edited already i just have to add some audio to it so that should be coming soon and if you're a retro gamer you'll like that one so take care of you guys thanks for watching the podcast i'll see you guys soon and have a fantastic day